I'm not addicted to making YouTube channels. I can quit whenever I want to, but I don't want to. I have something to say. And that's why I'm today announcing my decision to start a new YouTube channel devoted to exploring and celebrating giftedness and human development and intelligence in all its different forms. And I want your help. My name is Eric Dorn. I've been making psychology videos since basically forever. And I love it. But there is a problem. The longer I've been making MBTI personality type videos, the more bored I've gotten. I don't really enjoy just describing the INFP or the INFJ anymore. And while it's certainly interesting to discuss the nuances in our values and our thought processes and how we tend to think and what we tend to value, I become much more interested over time in the prospect of development and personal growth. I've also grown in my storytelling. I've become much more engaged with all the things that make life worth living, creative expression, art, good conversations, and time spent out in nature. And I want my content to bring you out into the world and inspire you to action rather than get you stuck at home. And most importantly, I want to make you feel something. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to feel helped. I want my videos to make your life a little bit better. So six months ago, I got to thinking, what is it I can do in order to challenge myself to start thinking about personal growth? And what is it I can do to help my friends, my communities around me and the people in my life? And one thing that I realized was a lot of my friends had some form of neurodivergence. Some were autistic, some had ADHD, some were gifted, or some had a, a combination of all of them, right? And this brings out both opportunities and difficulties for people, real difficulties that make it harder for you to feel that you fit in in society and with other people. I started to realize a lot of my friends felt alienated in some form from society, from people, from friends, from relationships. And I realized I felt alienated too. I had been called gifted all my life, but I had never really been given the chance to connect with other peers in real life about these experiences. And I never got the chance or the support in school to appropriately manage all the ups and downs that come with that. And for the longest time, I thought that these struggles that I had were the result of me being an INFJ and that that was just the normal for INFJs. And that the issues that I struggled with when it came to obsessive focus, high goals, and with, with imposter syndrome, with self-doubt, and with an intense amount of passion and sensitivity and uh, a mind that kept on running indefinitely. The truth is, it took me the longest time to realize that personality and our values and motivations and preferences it's different from our development and how we think and how we make decisions and how we process information. And to me, neurodivergence is something unrelated to your MBTI or your personality type and something worth exploring alone, independently. To me, neurodivergence is a gift. And you know, somebody once said, if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, you live forever thinking that fish is stupid, right? And that's a lot of the time how it is because we compare people and neurodivergent people based on their ability to fit in and to manage our normal processes that we develop today, our current modern education system and how we approach and how we engage in and relate to our work and to our job. A lot of neurodivergent people just don't fit. While their abilities could have been made and put to use somewhere wonderful and while they themselves are perfect just the way they are we are trying to compare and push them into a certain you know category and trying to get them to conform to modern day stereotypes and expectations and so there are many issues that neurodivergent people suffer from a tendency to engage in masking or hiding yourself from the outer world an inability to set boundaries or a compulsive desire to please other people or to make other people like you. 
a tendency to feel constantly exhausted by constantly trying to meet everyone's expectations and to be everything for everyone. And a tendency towards burnout from pushing yourself too hard for too long with too little reward, right? These are all stories that I want to cover on my new YouTube channel, Forest for Thought. And alongside that, I want to discuss what intelligence is, what empathy is, and what different forms of intelligence that it, there are. And I want to talk about how people can grow their minds and how people can develop and learn to understand each other's better and how we can think about and approach our brain and who we are in an authentic way by focusing on what it is that we want, what we care about and what is important to us. I call it a story because Forest for Thought is all about stories and pushing my storytelling to the next level. And I'm always thinking about what it is I can do to tell more engaging stories and what I can do to share my content and my ideas in a creative way. As a YouTuber, you constantly have to renew yourself and think about new ways, new forms of content, and you have to constantly follow and track your own passion and your own enthusiasm and what it is that you care about and what it is that you want to talk about and what it is that is your story, right? Now, some people might ask why I don't just use my main channel for this, right? Well, one reason is because you didn't subscribe for that. Most of the people who are subscribed to my channel or who at some point subscribe to my channel don't watch it anymore. They moved on to something else, which is completely fine and something everyone has the right to do. And if I start sharing new kinds of content, content that you never subscribed for, content that you were never interested in, I'm not giving that content a fair chance to become what it needs to be. As a YouTuber, if you want to start fresh, it's usually best to start a new channel. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making videos here, and I hope to continue to use this channel for various purposes in the future. But that does mean that in the future, you as a viewer get to choose what kind of content that you want to see from me and what kind of things that you want to subscribe for and what the kind of things that you're passionate about. I'm moving in the direction of being able to create what I want to create for the people that want to watch and that want to listen to and that enjoy those specific topics. And that's something I'm super excited about. And so if you are curious about these topics, if you're curious about ADHD, about autism, about neurodivergence, about bipolar disorder, or borderline personality disorder, or narcissism, or empathy, or different forms of intelligence, or if you're curious about how to grow, or how to develop, or how to learn to develop new skills outside your comfort zone, outside what you currently do, outside what you're currently passionate about, I definitely recommend you check out Forest for Thought. The link is down below. I really appreciate all of your support. I wanna say thank you to everyone that wants to be a part of this new story.